Yes, Connie, I'm coming to you from Fort Lauderdale, and we're rocking to celebrate summer's last hurrah, Labor Day weekend. I don't even know why we're on, because you'd have to be a real no-life to be home on a picture-perfect day like this. <laughs> Mom, please. Is this how I'm gonna spend my Labor Day weekend? Sitting between my mother and a pizza with everything? <laughs> The holiday got you down, Kel. Well, let's just pretend it's a normal day. Get up on the table, dance around, and me and Mom will put dollars down your blouse. Now, bud, not everything Reverend Felcher says from the pulpit is true. <laughs> Greeting, vultures. Your meal ticket's here. <laughs> Guess where I have been. <laughs> Locked in the trunk of your car with a dead cat? And no one understands why I scream on the way home. Anyhow, I was thinking, how could we have a perfect Labor Day? And then it hit me. While all those families of morons are wasting their time going to the beach, guess where we're gonna be? No, not another family barbecue. Yes, a family barbecue! <laughs> Who's gonna give it a, a whoa Bundy here? Huh? <laughs> no one? Fine. Oh, Al. Honey, don't get us wrong. It's not that we don't enjoy sweltering in the backyard, being bitten by horse flies, and watching you scratch your sweaty back with our salad forks. <laughs> but honey, just once, we would like to do something we want. Well, we can't do something that you want, and I'll tell you why. Because it's, it's Labor Day, not Leech Day. That's Christmas. <laughs> it's not Parasite Day. That's Mother's Day. <laughs> See, this is a holiday for the working guy. Celebrates all the people who work, so that all the people who don't <laughs> get to live longer and have more than he does. <laughs> so tomorrow, unless God willing, I die in my sleep, <laughs> I get up for me, and celebrate for me. Tomorrow is our bun day. <laughs> What's wrong with you people? All right, so I made a teeny little mistake actually leaving on Labor Day, but that's done. We're in hell. Let's enjoy it. <laughs> it's our vacation, for God's sake. Just look around. Tell me what you see. I can see our house. <laughs> Great, Dad. Five hours on the road and we're almost home. Dope. Idiot. Buffoon. I, I, I got another idea. Oh, put up the top so we don't get a wind burn? That's it! I'm flooring it right into this bus! No, 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 Al! Honey, no, 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 no. It's okay. What's your idea, sweetie? We love you, Daddy. Well, uh, I was gonna say, let's play geography. You know, I'll name a state or a country, and the next person names one that begins with the letter the last one ended with. Does it sound good? Sounds great. Oh, man, let's play. You start, Daddy. Hey, Alaska. A. Hey. Asia. Bud. A. Africa. Kel. A. <laughs> hey, she's really trying. I know. I know. Hey, we need some music. That'll get us out of this. How about some good old American road music? Bathroom. <laughs> but don't you worry about it. I, I'm just gonna run back to the house and I'll be right back. <laughs> Al a bammer. Daddy R. <laughs> Now, tomorrow, your job is to go shopping. Why can't we shop today? 
Traffic too light? <laughs> because if you were paying attention all these years, you'd know that Al Bundy doesn't barbecue with day-old fixings. Now, it's your job tomorrow to get me fresh meat, fresh cheese, and fresh charcoal, and watch those chips. I don't want you getting anything that says natural ingredients. <laughs> now, kids, since we're all gonna spend the whole day together tomorrow, today, get out. <laughs> oh, and don't forget, I don't want my ketchup in those plastic squeeze things. I want bottles just like the Pilgrim's had. Now, I wish you could have seen your father when he was in high school, before all this happened. Mm, as I recall, they almost did. Hmm? <laughs> I can't wait to have kids so I can make them suffer. Oh, when they ask who their dad is, you can play Wheel of Father. <laughs> Now, Peg, I don't want you to think that I forgot you in all this. Your job is very important, too. You get to bring the benches from the basement and scrape off the bird duty. Traditionally, the job of the queen. <laughs> yeah, that and killing and eating her mate. <laughs> oh, what a day this is gonna be. Can you feel the excitement, Peg? Oh, Al, I've given up on excitement. I'm going for relief. <laughs> Which? Brings us to a little promise you made just last spring. Sex again. <laughs> Peg, we've been married for 17 years now. Can't we just be friends? No. I don't like you. I just want to have sex with you. <laughs> okay, kids, rise and shine. <clears throat> No sense in starting the day with stupid questions. Al, we haven't moved. <laughs> That's it. Come on, kids. We're going home. Now, wait a second. Where are you going? You'll miss all the fun. Al, you reek. I reek. I. I. Who only wanted to share in the joy and brotherhood of a family outing. Reek. Well, let me tell you what reeks, okay? Yeah. Now, what reeks is this facade that we call Labor Day. Honk if you hate Labor Day. <laughs> you know what else reeks? Families reek. Honk if you hate families. <laughs> because they are truly the reason Labor Day reeks. Once a year, they're on these highways and byways. What do they say? We hate this. We hate you. Idiot. Moron. Buffoon daddy. <laughs> Buffoon daddy. But what about us? The ones who truly labor. We're on this stinking road every day, choking and wheezing, marching along like lemmings to a horrible screaming death. Who cries for us, Argentina? <laughs> Not our families, but we can't expect that. The yoke on the oxen feels no guilt. <laughs> but what we can expect is that on our one lousy, stinking day off, traffic can move us to our lousy, stinking, pathetic destinations. <laughs> our polluted beaches, our burning forests, our wheezing grandmas to our family barbecues with Uncle Otto and his runny eye. <laughs> but does the highway department prepare for us? Are they out here helping us? Are they out there in front of us by that first damn car that caused this traffic jam saying, step on the gas, you moron! <laughs> Let the 20 million people pass! <laughs> they are not. Why? Because they don't care. And that, my friends, is what really reeks. Steve, how's your burger? You know, I hate to admit it, but this is the best burger I've ever had. What's your secret? Well, I sneak over to the nudie place a couple of times a month in order to make it through life. No, uh, I meant about your burgers. Oh, oh. No, the secret's in the ashes, Steve. See, I never clean my grill. Ashes from the past for burgers of the future. 